we've created our planet Earth, we want to transfer it over into our solar images. So I have already opened up a earlier uh, full full scale. Now, once you've done this once full scale, then you'll be able to easily uh, migrate your planet over and rescale it without much work, uh, because your camera and your telescope are always constant. So um, after the initial scaling of a full disk image, then all you really need to do at that point is figure out the multipliers of your Barlow lenses and then you can take that multiplier and apply that to your planet Earth and scale it and then drop it into any of the other images that you take in the future. Um, you only have to redo that if you change your camera or if you change your telescope. Um, something along those lines is it will force you to redo it. Otherwise, once you've done this once, you don't have to do it very often anymore. So, okay, so let's go ahead and, and arrange this so that we've got both our images together. Okay, um, one of the things that I do want to do is is make sure that I convert my sun to eight bits per channel. Uh, my camera, whenever I whenever I bring it in, automatically it automatically comes to the sixteen bits. So, change it to eight bits. Let's uh, activate your Earth. Um, all we have to do is make sure you select on your move key, left click over your planet, and just drag it down here onto your other image. Double click. And now we've got this full screen again. Um, we will temporarily hide our planet Earth. Um, we need to measure from here to here, and really we're only getting approximates. Uh, you know, we're not trying to get uh, to the hundredth degree accuracy on this. So the way the easiest way to do that is putting guides in here. So I left click over my ruler bar, drag out a guide, and release. I do that again. I left click over here on the ruler. I drag out a guide and I release right there. Okay. Go up to analysis, ruler tool, and now um, I just I just click on my guides, draw a line straight across, and I could see once I let go, I could see that it's approximately 307 centimeters. Okay. So let's go ahead and 307. We know that there's approximately 109 Earths across the diameter of the Sun. That means our Earth's diameter needs to be 2.8, so we'll just round it to 3, because even at 3, it's still quite impressive on the scaling. So, okay. So let's go ahead and clear our guides. So we'll clear our tools here um, and clear guides. And let's re-enable our planet here. Now, we would need to rescale this. So let's select our tool here. We'll go up to Image, uh, sorry, Edit, Transform, Scale. And because it's a smart filter, we just say, OK, that's fine. We won't worry about it. All right, hold down your Shift key. Now, the reason why you want to hold down your Shift key is as you grab this corner and you left click over it, and you bring it way down, you want the planet to stay nice. Actually looking up here at the top of the ruler and I'm trying to get it down to approximately what it should be. Okay, we say okay. Now let's go ahead and enlarge so we can see, we want to get it close to that three at least, right? So we'll do a control plus and we'll go ahead and bring it up to 300%. Drag our rulers over our planet. And now what we're going to do is bring our guides back out again. So let's uh, left click over the ruler, bring that, snap that guide in there. Again, we'll do this again. Okay. Now this is tool. And we just measure across our ruler. And we can see we're actually double. We're at seven, right? So that means we need, we need to bring this earth down even smaller. So that's the reason why we're doing this. So we go back up to edit. Transform, scale, again we say okay to the message, hold down the shift key, and we basically cut that in half. So right about there. Boom. Okay. Let's clear our guides again. Let's shrink it back down. So we're trying to do a uh, zoom out, so control minus will allow you to bring it back down to a hundred percent scale. Grab your move. And now we can move our planet around. Let's go 50%. There we go. Okay. Now that looks
looks mighty small. But you know what? If you multiply that by 109, you're going to fit all your planet Earths across the diameter of the sun. So that's it. That's all there is to scaling. It, it's not very complicated because we're really scaling to your image, and we know the basic dimensions of the Earth versus the sun. So on a full disk image, um, we know that there's 109 Earths could fit across that sun. So whatever our measurements are from for the diameter, we just divide that by 109, and it gives us the, the size of our Earth's diameter. And then if we use a 2.5-inch Barlow lens or anything, then we just take that diameter and we multiply it by that Barlow factor, by 2.5. Right? So that's all there is to it. Now, you can really have a lot of fun with your planet. Um, let's go back there real quick. You can, before you bring it in, you can actually take your continents and use your magic wand and give that texture as well if you want to play with it. So have fun, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you much for watching.